All right, guys. Welcome to our first ever podcast, Intoxicados Podcast. I am a co-host, Diego Noboa. Alongside, I have my other co-host, Felipito. <laughs> I saw you put your hands up. I didn't know where going. Wait, 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 bro. Don't this, hey, 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 I need a little more energy, bro. It sounds like an ASMR. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. You're you whispering into the mic, like, bro. <laughs> bro, raise his hand. I thought I was, you thought I was gonna introduce you first. <laughs> nah, my bad, my bad. What's bad. Well, sorry? Alongside, I have my other co-host, Brandome. The one and only. The, the one, one and only. only. <laughs> the one and only. Sorry, bro. I got excited. I didn't know you were saving the best for last. Hey, ah, come on now. That's right. That's hey, right. That's right, fool. Guys, I am. Uh, yo, I'm excited, man. I'm Yo, so why did we name this shit Intoxicados? Well, I mean, we all we all thought we all talked about it as a group, and we're like, how can we impl- implement the Toxicos that we have Chicos Toxicos into a podcast? Right. And we went. Is that it? Was either Intoxicados? Nah, that motherfucker's stupid. We just always get drunk. We're always <laughs> intoxicated. We're always That's how to- we named the Intoxicado podcast. We're always Intoxicados and Intoxicados talk. I mean, I think those are the best talks you open up. And uh, I mean, something I didn't, gets opened up. Something gets well, opened up. Intoxicados. Something gets opened up. Now we, we just bought this baby set, so what are we doing? Are we taking a little sip or guys? By the way, let's just let's 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 uh, let's, just, let's just be completely transparent, right yeah. or wrong? Yeah. Man, you okay. What's going on right now? Well, look, we are not even sponsored by Big Sips, but the only reason why we actually decided to go with Big Sips for our first ever podcast is because they were actually our first ever YouTube sponsor, uh, and you know I feel like that's love. Anybody that takes a risk in being the first sponsor for anybody especially on a platform like youtube yeah. like that's love and that's like loyalty I, you know they they showed us love being their our first ever sponsor and even though we're not getting paid to drink big sips i was like you know what first podcast let's just show them some love they gave us some love and why not no, I honestly and because of big sips we were able to make that amazing video we were, yeah. we were able to give ten thousand dollars to the people um i'm not gonna lie guys we really needed the money. Like, yeah, yeah, we yeah. really, really, really we needed the need money. We still need the money. We still, no, no, don't <laughs> yeah. get me wrong. We still need the money. But at the time, it was our first ever sponsorship. We were in Vegas. I wanted to I wanted to blow that shit on red. You know what I mean? But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, we all came up with the bright idea to, to give back to the people that were there for us since day one. And it was such an amazing blessing to be able to do that. And for and because of that, we were forever, ever treasured Big Sips. Mm-hmm. So if you're trying to sponsor another video, Big Sips. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> Throw a little jab no, right man. there, huh? No, please. I, um, let's cut you off, cut you off. But what I was going to say is uh, we're, we're pretty loyal. Mm, to the brands, I don't know about our women, but hey, what, what are you, what are you <laughs> saying? Just kidding, just kidding. My mom's girl been watching my videos, man. Nah, you gotta watch kidding. it. <laughs> so we're loyal. Um, we never want to take on a brand that we don't think is good. We don't. We're not that type of people. Just mo- money hungry in the sense, like, uh man, uh, promote this so and so. It's supposed to make you grow. Like we're not with that bullshit. So that's why we're loyal to Big Sips. Thank you, Big Sips, again for sponsoring the first, our first ever, ever brand deal. And that's how we said we're loyal, mm-hmm. at least to the brand. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, just uh, again, thank you, huge, Big Sips. Huge and thank, thank you for everybody tuning in. To be honest, I was like, this, like there was a crowd behind. <laughs> like, there was, was, like, was nobody like, we behind. Me. It's a live show. There was nobody behind. Like, we were at Sábado Gigante. Like, oh, and when you say Don Francisco, Nah, but Yo, yeah. that shit is. Um, well, first of all, let's let's let's, let's wait. I wait, wait. Ask. I'm so sorry to cut you off, but going back to sponsorships, we did get sponsored by Big Sis, but I'm still trying to get sponsored by the Rhinos. I'm not kidding. Like we're breaking the bag, trying to afford these, guys. If if is anyone back there watching and you know someone that works in Rhino, please let us know. Like we literally got this shit on our shirt too. Mm. Are we showing it like to right now, or we're not gonna show it? Well, while we're on the topic, okay. And before we continue on this this podcast and really get into it. Uh, yo guys, April twenty fifth, we're dropping merch. As you guys can see, we got we're gonna drop this in white and black. Uh, you got the got, got honey Winnie the Pooh with the I Love Toxica shirt, the Royal Honey VIP. You guys see it? It's gonna be a dope shirt. You see Felipito wearing it. It's actually Felipe on the shirt. You see him with the hair and the slit eyebrow. And uh, yeah, we got Brandon with the black Chicos Toxicos. So um, I think this is well, we've been showing it. We just showed it on live, and then we did show it on Instagram, but. Besides that, you guys are going to be the first ones to see this this design that, honestly, we work day and night for. Shout out to our, our graphic designer that put in the work to do this. Um, we're very happy to show you guys this. I'm excited. So I'm gonna, let me go ahead and show you guys this real quick. We were like, yo, how do we implement, you know, our Latino culture into our merch? I'm going to show you how we implement and it. And this is what we came up with. You might have to you lower. You might have to get, get 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 on your knees. Yeah, get on your knees. I'm not getting I'm Get on your knees, bro. Nah, real, nah, like go closer to the chair and put it, get your knees on your knees. 
They can see it. No, they can see it from here. It's oh, you can, bro. No, bro you're, you're, it's high. It's high. Bro. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do this one. The Cholo go. squat? Yeah, <laughs> this one right here. Hey, that's right, fool. So we have El Toxico. We wanted to go with the El Loteria, uh, the Loteria game. Uh, and we were like, yo, let's just make our own little El Toxico card. Bro, and what's more Mexican than the Loteria that's itself? Very true. You know Even what I mean? I'm not Mexican, hey, I yeah. still love the culture. Okay. So um yeah yeah the the, lot the loteria we're gonna it's gonna be more detailed pictures on our instagram so just make sure you guys give us a follow on instagrams and uh we'll keep you guys updated man, with the come merch on, let's get to the good stuff, yeah man, man let's get to the juicy shit man. let's, let's get to the juicy shit no that's what i'm on real uh real stuff guys so on even before we started this or this even came into an idea we always said that we wanted to have a platform and build a platform where we're able to go ahead and express yourself and just talk about the conversations that we have back at home. Why are you laughing? <laughs> What's so funny? I said, let's get canceled. <laughs> but we, we don't really mean to get canceled, but what we mean with that is that we just want to get here and just talk some shit. Talk the same conversations that we have back at home behind the cameras is what we want to have here. Let's keep it a hundred, right? Yeah. And I think you could vouch for me. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you could vouch for me. Well, no, I'm pretty sure I think you could vouch for me. And I'm pretty sure you could vouch for me. Basically, it's like the barbershop. Yeah. Anything goes. Whatever you guys want to talk about, topics, comment down below. Yeah. Well, shit, you want to ask? <laughs> Yo, when, we, when the questions come, we'll answer them. <laughs> no, we have, no. <clears throat> we all have been to a barbershop. I mean, for all my lady uh, audience out there, you know, maybe it's the same thing when you go to the salon. But when you're in the barbershop, you're spitting, like, shit that you would only take to the grave. The only people that would know this is God and your barber type yeah. thing. You know what I mean? So Yo, barbers are the biggest cheese small souls, bro. Oh, I love Y'all be telling everybody's business. Yo, my, my last client was telling me this, man. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm, me? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, bro. The shit... Uh, sometimes, like, yo me tengo que desahogar, bro. Like, I just carry so much on my shoulders. I have a client, come, like, come in. Yo, yo. Hey, you wouldn't believe what just happened to me last week. You got the juicy shit. I'm like, what happened to you? He's like, oh, no, remember I told you that I was, I had a girl, right? I'm like, yeah, what happened? But anyways, you guys know where this is going. I can't get too into it. I don't want one of my clients to look at this and not be my client anymore. So you you guys, so anyways, this is what we wanted to do. Just a safe space so we can just desalgarnos, talk our shit, be happy and enjoy it. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, uh, this is dope. I'm excited. And how I said, guys, we is, we is for the people to be honest i know you can't really say that but my I'm fault to my say fault that. morgan and morgan what well, is for the people if you're an upcoming creator and you want a platform to talk about hit us up bro we would love to have you on here yeah. to be honest we're not really focusing on guests realistically we're not but we would much rather have an upcoming creator than somebody who's been on 100 podcasts not that we wouldn't want you on obviously you feel me yeah no, but no. uh I, I don't know. I always thought, like, um, people showed me love up and coming. I'm still up and coming, but I'm talking about, like, when I had a thousand, people would reach out, like, yo, you want to be on my pod? And I'd be like, damn, that's love. So if you're an up, up and coming creator, hit me up, hit Diego up, hit Bandome up. We're going to have a, well, you can hit up Chicos Toxicos. Chicos Toxicos. Um, spell it out. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you can hit us up, and uh, we, we're more than happy to have you on here, to be honest. Let's get to the juicy shit, man. Hey, what's up with OJ? R.I.P. <laughs> On too, gone too late. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah. My fault, bro. Gone too late. No way, you just said that, bro. What's yo, wrong with you? Yo, you what you mean? Yo, you, he, the, do you think he did it? Nah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm I don't know who OJ it. was. I swear, like I know what he did. Like the juice. One. I didn't know who the juice was, gang. <laughs> but it turns out he was like a really famous running back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was okay, I'm be honest. I don't, I don't, really, I didn't watch football growing. Only time I watch football is like NFL, Super Bowl. But uh, I never really knew who he was. I know it was like 1980s. How you expect me to know that, bro? I mean, it's I like my dad's you, you know, balls yet. <laughs> you know what they say. My dad's balls. You know, what do they say, Diego? You know what they say. What do they say? If you don't know your history, history is going to repeat itself. Oh, but I tell you that shit <laughs> hey, all the time. I really That's not my quote, but I tell I, him that all the time. I really hope that part of history does not repeat itself, though. That was, no, no, that no, was no, 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 no. Nah, uh, but you should be aware of that, though. I feel like that's a very big So thing. Who started no, World War II? Let me hear history. Mexico? No way, bro. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way, bro. I'm joking. I'm joking. It was the British. No, the British it? are coming? The British are coming. It wasn't, it wasn't the British. It wasn't? No. Who was, was it? it? It was Germany. Germany. I knew that. I just wanted to make sure you knew it. Wait, hold on. I said it so confidently. Fact check me, guys. <laughs> now, I'm, I actually am really intrigued with history, but sometimes I be getting my shit off like uh, the infographic show. I don't know if that's a legit source. But um, that's yeah. a, that's actually a really good show. Like that's something you that I, it? yeah, yeah it's I something that I do watch is 
I mean, like I said, I don't know how true it is, but it feeds the brain. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. conversation starter. Wait, back to OJ. I'm so sorry. Is there not like lie detectors back then, or like they couldn't they couldn't just do I, a lie detector? Test? I just don't believe they're hundred percent accurate. If that's one of the things that like like yes, you can use that evidence against you as in a lie detector, but I don't think they're like a hundred percent concrete evidence for them to put you in jail. So what about all those people that failed? Like, what if they did like the what Mari Mari or all that? Oh, but what, you're talking you're about not the DNA, father? bro. You're talking about a DNA test. Like that's like that's a whole different. That's a no, parental. But test. don't they do? But there's a, that, that light, uh, there's a lie detector test on Mari also. There is. Oh, right? is it yeah, really? There is, there is. So what? Oh. If, that's cr so. Imagine you get caught. You're like you are the father, I and mean, then the lie detector failed, man. Hey, no, no, no. Real, real shit though. That's Let's say up. you're ever in a show like that, bro. And then literally, yo. In the case of Diego Novoa. <laughs> I'm out, man. I'm out. <laughs> Are you running like everyone else? I'm out, man. Show? Have that cameraman chase me. I'm out that <laughs> motherfucker, bro. Running like OJ. No, bro. On Mari. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even know that I can jump like that. <laughs> on Mari, they take a lie detector test, uh -huh. but not to prove if you're the father, to prove if you're cheating. But they do take a DNA test to prove if you're the father. Just want to clarify that because they don't just take a lie detector test and be like, "Are you the father?" I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I don't think I'll ever take. <laughs> A lie detector test on a blog. I don't know how. I don't know where the the questions are coming coming from. Hey, fuck around, my girl. Does you know how you you know how sometimes you can put like write a question that you guys would want us to answer and it could be discreet. Mm -hmm. Fuck around, my girl goes in there and she starts asking other questions <laughs> and shit. I don't I don't want to get caught red handed. You know what I mean? Oh man, you're a loyal man. We're all I am loyal, a loyal man. man. What's going on? Loyal to the streets. <laughs> you feel me? Nah, and let me take a little that. big sip break for all you guys. Go ahead. Take see. a little sip. Let me see some. Hey, not a little sip. It's big sips for a reason. Ooh. And your big stepper? <laughs> big stepper and small shoes. <sighs> Why are you always flaming, Brandon? Let's talk about that, bro. Why are you always flaming him? Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. What did you say? He said <laughs> <laughs> big steppers with small shoes. Yeah, I want to know what's up with that. Nah, bro. nah, Actually, nah, nah. You know why, though? I'm not going to lie. Look, look, look. I think this is why I, I, I like to cook you, bro. Because I grew up being the shortest one always, bro. Like, growing up in middle school. So elementary. You should, but you, listen. And then I finally, bro. Like, finally, I got some inches on me in the right spots. And I got over 5'8". And be, now I see somebody, like... So, like, I just want to get my lick back when I... All the people that used to bully me, I want to get my lick back. you're the lick on the wrong person, though. You should show more empathy because... Or sympathy because you grew up short. I you show know, you love. You know the... Hey, but you know what, though? If I wasn't confident in my confident in my height or anything like that, I would get offended, but... No, I know. You know you're a confident man. Yeah, I know it's coming from someone that has a big perm. You're crazy. That's a crazy statement, gang. I don't <laughs> have a perm. He doesn't have a perm, guys. That's I'm just crazy. Fucking, I'm just messing much, around. Bro, I'm sorry. that shit in there. Yo, so uh, who are the Chicos Toxicos? Like, how did we meet each other? I feel like for those that don't know the whole background story, how did it start? Why did it start? Who wants to go first? I mean, I don't, I don't think I can go ahead and just start off with how did we start and everything like that. But I can tell you what our purpose was when we started this. So as you guys, I, you guys already know. I mean, we come from a Hispanic household. Uh, we literally come from nothing. And I've said it in the previous past. We did not have anything and for us to build a platform where we're able to express ourselves, talk to people and just be able to be a little more open minded than how our parents were with us is just an amazing feeling. You know what I mean? Like I'm telling you, growing up, I there was a lot of traumas in the house. There's a lot of things that happened that I wasn't able to talk to. Cause I would tell my mom, like, yo, I, I need to, I need to go talk to someone. I need a therapist or whatever. And she would think like estás loco type of thing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But being able to, you know, I was blessed to meet a person like Felipe that went through the same things, a person like Diego that also went through the same thing, but honestly, but had more money than us. So oh, y'all gotta stop playing me, no, but I did not. Bro. But but no, but real shit. Like we all, what what happened, bro? I'm sorry, I had a good. No you no off, no, bro. what happened? Oh my god, stop Diego. holding my hand. <laughs> What's it going? So Diego was I already know what he's Diego about to was say. house searching, right, guys? I'm about to get cooked. Diego was house searching. Oh my god! Bro, he, did he, I tell you? You told me. You called me. You, bro. I'll tell you. I'll Diego tell you guys is, what he said. Is house searching, right? He's moving in, and uh, basically, like we're just chilling on his couch, and he has the audacity to look me dead in my eyes, like, <laughs> like look me dead in my eyes, like, are you, like, are you goofy? Are you dumb? And I was like, what up, bro? He's like, bro, can you believe this? Like, uh. I'm about to move into this nice ass crib. It has everything. It has recessed light. It has, it has, it has. It doesn't have popcorn ceiling. It has nice painting. I did not nice say all of that, bro. I did not say any like, of this. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. He's like, bro, like bro, am I back in Ecuador? Yeah, word for word, what he said. I'm like, why? What happened? He's like, you, you see how like uh this house, the house he lives in, has a built-in AC. 
So like basically you Central just, AC. yeah. So you just click a button and then shroom, like the whole house gets ventilated. He's like, bruh, they only have the AC you put on the wall. You got to click it. And I'm like, goofies, right? Like, why would they have that? And then I <laughs> go through my mom's Facebook. I'm like, you talk about this already? Bro, literally, my mom be taking her photos near the vent all the time because it's the best lighting. And I'm like, goofies, why would they have that shit, right? Bro, I, I cannot keep defending Diego. Bro. I he, he claims it's a Florida thing. Everybody in Florida got built-in AC. I swear, bro. I don't know how true that might be. You know, I've never been to Florida. I can't fact check that. But that was a, bro, he no, looked me dead. I promise eyes, you like, on like, everything, bro. He looked me dead. He's like, are you, are you goofy? Are you dumb? No, he like, was serious on it. I'm like, what? No, it's funny because Felipe calls me. He's like, yo, he calls me on FaceTime, right, twice. I'm like, yo, this has to be an oh. emergency, right? <laughs> I answer. I'm like, what's up, gang? He's like, yo, go to your room right now. I'm like, all right. Go to my room. He's like, hey, uh, show me your AC. And I fucking flip the camera <laughs> over, and it's right there on the wall. He starts cracking up. You wouldn't believe what Diego just said, bro. This I had to make sure we were on the same boat. No, you feel we me? are. I mean, I don't know. Like, like, like you just said, I don't know if it's a Florida thing or whatnot, but I know at least every well then again I, ne I never grew up in a house yeah. like it was always apartments and yeah. stuff so the apartments never had built essential in AC. AC. Yeah, yeah built in ac it always had the one on the wall bro, bro. And on everything i love bro in florida even the apartments in florida like rarely did you see the, no but that's the thing the though, ones and, on the wall but this is the thing and i'm literally not trying to be funny though but i i'm pretty sure it depends what apartment you go to yeah. like if you're in the newer apartments then i'm sure they have central AC. Yeah, i mean i wasn't living in a like you no know, penthouse apartment it was like growing up it was like a so, when was your house built or your apartment? No, I mean. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. But I'm so I'm so sorry. But before we move on to that, I know you said we're not cutting anyone off, but it's funny because uh, Felipe told me that Diego said he's like, yo, he's like, hey, I'm not gonna get up to fucking walk and press that fucking, that button on the AC. <laughs> nah, can you got me like, fucked up? Like, what do you think I am? Like, yeah, bro, bro I did not say like, all that. I did not nah, say all bro, that. Nah, but the way you said it, bro, like I'm not even flaming you. The way you said it, it's like, bro, you. Goofy, are you are you dumb? Like I gotta get up and personally push the bro, button. Bro, I did like, not it have, say like, it that. I did that just... not say that. Anyways, hey, guys. Hey, yo, he wants that AC that you just clapped. Basically, <laughs> guys. Honestly, it just reminded me. It, it, I mean, I wouldn't mind it. I'm just saying, it reminded me of Ecuador. That's how I grew up in Ecuador. All all the fans, all all the ACs in Ecuador. Bro, you I'm, press the button. I'm gonna be honest. Like in the place that I grew up in, I don't believe we even had the AC on the wall. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. We didn't have. Like in, in Mexico? No, in, Me oh. in Mexico. <laughs> in Mexico, we didn't have none of that. But I'm, you're Hispanic. Say that. With pride, and, Mexico. No, no, you're right. In Tijuana, in Tijuana, no teníamos eso. We, we didn't have that. It was just like, oh, hey, mom, hace calor. Abre la pinche ventana. Oh, we would have that 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 fan, the the, the circular yeah, circular yeah, one yeah, that yeah, would yeah. rotate from yeah. left to right, and you just stand on that because it was so hot, bro. Yeah. Nah, I, I remember like I was like, man, I'm so lucky to have this because when I was in Mexico before I came here, yeah. so my my mom had already met my stepdad, right? Uh huh. So when she went back to Mexico to get me, um, she took me to his place of birth, right, where he's from, where my where my my uh, stepdad's from. And uh, he lives in this place in Puebla called Chautla. Uh -huh. And, bro, they had no AC, bro. I remember my mom had a fan me all night, bro. Yeah. Because I'd get too hot. Yeah, bro. Uh, bro, they didn't even have a door. I'm like, tell y'all live in? <laughs> <laughs> so, wait. Yo, you no, got... so, like, in Mexico, like, I actually lived, like, in a house. Yeah. And they had that fan. Oh, my fault, big motion. No, no, no. Like, it was, like, a regular house. And the lamina. You wouldn't know about the that. The house of laminas, bro. Those get <laughs> when, hot. Bro, when, when, there's, when it's raining, this You think people are zapateando on top of your fucking roof? Nah, but nah. Shout out my stepdad for real. I don't know how he did it. Like, I mean, I mean, obviously you get used to it. Yeah. But damn, bro, it'd be hot at night. I'd be trying to take a shower in the middle of the night. Yeah, no. Go I'll... to the pozo and just jump in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the pozo? That's why you sleep naked, huh? Wow, I got tired, buddy. That <laughs> you're weird. Who does that? Dude, I, I've been getting scared because, like, I, I, I mean, for those who don't know, California is always earthquakes. Like, no earthquakes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And we're long overdue, supposedly, for the big one. Yeah. Since, like, that Northridge earthquake. Right. So I be getting scared. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I sort of get paranoid. Like, when I wake up late, I'm like, yo, should I just stay up the whole rest of the night? Because, like, what if there's an earthquake? <laughs> and I be putting my shorts on. Like, you know what? You never know. No, bro. If one of those earthquakes were ever happen and I'm naked, bro, I don't care. I'm Literally, all my neighbors are going to get a peep show, but yeah. I'm running straight out. Those apartments that, I'm, that I live in, I hope my landlord is not seeing this, but they freaking suck like there we had the last earthquake that we had that was kind of like pretty big was during pandemic and i remember i was i was dead asleep bro and you just feel the whole house just shake back and forth bro i ran out the the part bro is that my girl was still asleep and the, the first thing that i thought it was i gotta get out of there bro 
I had to run back, get my girl, and then run out again, bro. You know what that reminds me of, bro? Yes. I remember when I used to work at the airport <clears throat> at JetBlue. I think they, they during training they would tell us like oh if like you know if there was if there was somebody like to come in the airport armed or whatever like uh, just you, I think they told us like try to stay calm or stay put I forgot what they said and I always said man stay put bro on everything I love I, I and and the crazy part is every time I would be like because uh, I I worked like the check in at the very front of the airport like anybody that walks in and you check in at the front desk that was me like, I'd be like hey you know. Where are you going? What are you checking into? So, bro, I swear I would be making up scenarios when I was working. I'd be like there. And like when it was dead, right? Because no, I can't be on my phone or anything. And I'd be like, damn, if somebody was to come in strapped right now in the airport, what would I do? And I started like making scenarios in my head. And I swear I always said I would throw myself in the in the belt, on the bag belt. I swear on everything I love, I'd throw myself in the bag belt. And I would just Wait, go Wait, that there. bag belt? The, the, <laughs> the, the thing that's to the yeah, belt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Toy Story? Yeah. Hey. From Toy Story? The yeah. And hey, you going to look in a ball? I swear, bro. I swear on everything. Como perrito. <laughs> I swear on everything I love. I said that shit. I, I would say it in my head over. I'd be like, I'd look at it. I'd be like, I fit through that shit. I'd be like, yeah, I'd be good, gang. No. Bro, but do you even know what goes on behind the scenes of that? Like, no, I if, don't. What if it's like a 20 foot drop? It's either that or get shot. Which one are you going? I'd rather go with the unknown. <laughs> nah, but. Keep it 100, gang. I'd rather just hope, hope and pray. That's nah, true. But the thing is, like, I believe in you. Like, I believe in you. You're not coward, cowardly, but like. I believe in your fight, fight or flight instinct. Like I believe in you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at least with that scenario. Like mm -hmm. when you get to see him from a distance, and you're like, "Oh, I'm out." You know? Yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. Out. yeah. I believe that. You're, I, you're I know where this is going, though. But maybe this is why I didn't like Brandon for the longest, right? But there's a there's <laughs> a true <laughs> there's a true story, like a true factual story. I was a freshman in high school. Like, I had just became like a freshman, and uh, I was with my girlfriend and her sister, and her cousin, and uh, his 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 girl at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh um, which one uh her name's cassandra damn you leaking Yo, names what? Name, <laughs> name <laughs> right one? Now. <laughs> no that's uh, my fault no, 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 i thought it's a space no no i thought you said we could be ourselves no, be a, no 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 we're not we're not no we're not taking that out go ahead keep keep i'm dropping. sorry damn you're not saying, hey but it's a safe space you could be yourself did you not say that he the way did here? Say that. That i did not say that you said that i did say that who asked me you know i always answer everything no, go back. Cassandra. What about Cassandra? What was she doing? No, nah, I don't know what she was doing, oh, but she was fault. there. She was there, right? And uh, there's this place called Gravity Hills in Silmore. And I remember we used to be on some, like, hood rat shit back in the day. And I thought I was a shit, bro. Like, because they were older. They were adults already. Me and my girl were the only ones, like, were, like, you know, wait, still wait, in their wait. age. You talking about Cassandra? What are oh, we? Oh, oh, my fault. I thought you were talking about a dip. My bad. <laughs> what? This story just got interesting. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> go, man. <laughs> we couldn't be teasing our shit. Just do it. Just put it in. <laughs> my fault. Anyways, oh, uh, um, in Silmar, my boy had a standard car. Uh, my girlfriend's cousin had a standard car. We were just driving, shifting gears. I thought it was so cool. I was like, damn, he was like cutting the corner super fast. That was some hood rush. I do not recommend you doing that, for real. Be responsible. But at the time, you know, I was like, what, 14, 15? I thought it was a shit. And anyways, we come to a dead end. And then, um, but, but by the way, the reason I'm saying the story is because every time in my head, you know, you always have those scenarios. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, man, if I was in this scenario, I'd do this, 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 and that. And the third and the fourth. And then I'd get everybody out. Um, we come to a dead end. And I guess my girlfriend's cousin had uh, friends from, like, barbering school. That's where he met Brandome. That's how I officially met Brandome. And basically, they come out with guns. But like it's BB guns. Oh, bro, you scared the shit. Out of BB me. guns, no, it's, but they look real, like they look yeah, like yeah. airsoft guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, William like stalls on purpose, so the car turns off, and he's like, "Oh my god, is he turning it on?" And bro, everything goes like serious, bro. And I'm in the middle, my girl's right next to me, and my girlfriend's sister's right here, so we're stuck in the back. And then Cassandra, William right there, and William's trying to turn on the car, and then they're like, and they pull out the gun and they start shooting. But it's pellets, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh my God. And then, <laughs> and then my girlfriend, my girlfriend's sister goes like this and she squeezes us. I'm like, and I literally just go like this to my girl so she, they, the bullet won't hit her. <laughs> Bro, and by the way, the airsoft guns are like real, like, like if they were real guns, there'd be AR AK type of gun. <laughs> like if they were real, if they were real. So realistically, if it would have happened, the bullet just whoo, right on through. <laughs> Like, it wasn't even, like, a pistol or, like, maybe I'll stop it like this. Like, legitimately, I literally went like this. Because 
my girlfriend's sister like squished, <laughs> squished us and I just went like this. <laughs> so, so I got a question. I got a question, bro. I got a question. So what did you say? Would like we were like if I made like your scenario in your head, right? You were like I would do this and that and the third, and then that's yeah, all no, you ended no, up doing. I always, I, <laughs> that's what you went with. No, like in that scenario, I was like, like if I thought it out, I'd be like, man, I'd get on top of everybody and just cover them. <laughs> a fucking Iron Man. <laughs> like I, I rather you know me take the bullets than you know them. And then I was like, you know, bro, I'll be the hero. Like maybe even if I Ooh. die, like they'll remember me. Like damn, Felipe was a good one. Like <laughs> he saved us. And bro, I swear. Like, I'm looking at them because I'm squished. Like, she's like, she's squishing me next to my girl. And I'm looking at them. I literally just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> bro. You're not real, bro. You're actually a And character. then basically, uh, William's like, ah, I got you guys. Bro, my girl's about to cry. Joanna's <laughs> fucking shaking. His the joke? <laughs> everybody? Yo, let's pull, hey, wait. Let's, let's pull a prank on them. <laughs> the prank? Bro, literally everybody's shaking up. William's laughing. And I'm just like, I'm like, bro, I knew that. Fake. Bro, I knew it was fake. Bro, you gotta understand the scenario too, cause this whole this whole joke was like planned and everything. They said they were gonna pull up, but the scenario was that we were at Gravity Hills. For anyone oh. that lives in, in in the valley knows, Gravity Hills is a sketchy place, bro. Like it's scary, bro. It's known for like having people around, like where they're like if you go into their property, they can shoot you on the spot type thing. You know what I mean? So when I saw that G35 come in and I heard the car was fully loaded, G35 I was, sedan. I was like, say less, bro. Me and three, two other of my boys, sorry, two other of my boys, we literally had the, the pellet guns, we just pointed right at them, bro. And and the thing that made it feel real is, like, they shot at the hood. So yeah. it's just a doom, doom, doom. Oh. Like, it, yeah. And I was like, no way, bro. Bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. Aquí se acabó el corrido de Felipe. Colorín colorado. Ese cuento ya se ha contado. That's it, bro. No, that's it. It was it was a scary a scary time, bro. Yo, I love being... Scary uh, time? He was the one pointing it at us. Bro, I love being... um. I think the main 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 reason I love being Hispanic, bro, is like having to you can you can joke in two different languages and it's two different completely sides of humor to it. Right. Or like right. even if you combine both, but like little shit like that, like oh colorín colorado. Yeah. But how you say that shit in English? It's like it's like el, la de rojo me la cojo type of thing. You know I've never I mean? heard that one. You never heard of that one? <laughs> no, la de rojo me la cojo? No. I, I remember when I went to a Mexico game. It was like. El verde me la, me la chupa por de atrás. Nah, I didn't say all that. What? But you think you're going to... El verde me la mete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. I just made that up. <laughs> I don't know. Nah. But like, but you get me, like, it's like, and especially like if you're, when you're scrolling through TikTok or Instagram reels or whatever, and you see a Spanish meme, it's like... You, you can relate you have, to it. You relate to it, it and just, like it's too different. No, that I culture is it's just... So dope. I was going to say so full of like, it sounds weird, but it's full of flavor. Like, there's just so much into it, you know what? Yeah. So much sazon. And it's funny because it. we were just talking about that on the last video. Don't give me that look. On the last video, um, you know how we went to we went to the hood. We had the piñatas out there. And then we were talking about, you know, whoever gets the chocolate bar gets 100 bucks. And then we literally all related to, like, yo, do you remember when, like, it was your birthday or whatever it was? And then your tío or your, your any, anyone would come in and give you money. And then you'd be like, yeah, yeah, hey, mom, can you hold my money? And the mom like, sí, mijo, no te preocupes, yo, aquí está guardadito. When you ask for it, that money is gone. Mm -hmm. La renta, la luz, everything, bro. They play every excuse just to not give you the money back. So it was funny because we brought it up and then everyone had a story to it. Like Diego said, like, yo, my mom did that shit. Um, Felipe said the same thing, yo, this, this, and this. And then we all came into a conclusion that, like, I'm t uh, it, it, we all came to the conclusion where, like, even when you ask for the money back, yeah, and especially if you ask it in front of parents, what do they do? They get all pissed off mm -hmm. or they slap you or this mm -hmm. or that. Mm -hmm. But we can all share the same culture, the same everything type thing. You, you know, know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, this, go, oh, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And even matter kind of Hispanic, you're at the end of the day, because, like, Diego's nowhere near as you get me. Like, you're all the way in South America. We're right here, uh, right here in the United ball? States. No, I'm just saying, like, it's Little crazy. bro, my <laughs> You're not near us, big bro. <laughs> no, I'm saying like ge geographically where nah, you yeah, at. Yeah. Is it geograph ge yeah, yeah, geog yeah, yeah. Nah, geographically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not geographically. Geographically. Well, yeah, it's crazy like how we could relate to a lot of things. Like realistically, yeah, we throw Diego and we like, ah, he's rich. That might be true. But uh, <laughs> other than that, we do have a lot of similar things. Like that's how we relate realistically. Yeah. I think that's why I love the, the Chico's. T I love our audience, bro. I love oh, yeah. the Chico's Toxicos audience because it's and the messages that we get, the comments that we get, and most of them, major ninety percent of the comments are, I f I rock with you guys because I relate to you guys so much, and I'm like, damn, like that's so sick because Hispanics, I don't know why, it's just like growing up Hispanic, everybody relates to something that their mom or their dad or their abuelita or their tío, something, something, I don't know, it's always something that people relate to, and it's dope when they see somebody else like 
doing something in front of a camera and having the the exposure i guess or the light shining on them but like there's a bunch of millions of other people that are that grew up the same way and luckily just one person or two or three or whoever is the one that's like putting on i guess you know for mexico or for ecuador whoever it is it's dope so you know i i was <clears throat> i was thinking though so that same pattern and everything that happens in most of Hispanic homes in which we can relate to, where does that, where does that come from? Is Bro, it, I don't know. Like, how does everyone, like, I'm telling you, we were uh, behind the cameras on the last episode that we were talking about in the vlog. It was like, yo, how does everyone do that? Like, th even though it's like, like you said, Hispanics, Ecuadorians, Salvadorian, like all these different types of, you know, dip, like culture, even though they're Hispanic, mm -hmm. but different places, like we can all relate to the same thing. How, like, bro? Is it like... You just wired it, it. It's it's such an interesting like. Like who passed it on to who? Or like comadre, lo va a contar este lo que le dije a mi hijo. I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just pass it on to their comadre, and that comadre passes it to just, another one. It's it's such a crazy thing, man. And like I said, it's 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 just amazing that you know we can all relate. And I think you know that's that's why you know we ca we keep pushing for more and 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 opening up more. I'm not gonna lie, like in the in the beginning, like maybe. I mean, you guys in the, you know, you guys were used to like, you know, having like, not like being in front of the camera type of thing, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Opening up and being able to relate. Mm -hmm. But, you know, back then, like, I mean, like for me, like I didn't want to open up too much in like in my in my Hispanic like culture at first, just because I thought it was only me type of thing that went through that struggle, went through this. But it's like it's 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 heartwarming knowing that you're not the only one that you're not alone that we all go through the same mm -hmm. things and all that you know what i mean yeah so it's such a it's such a dope thing and and like you said like it's amazing that we are able to share it with everyone else with it and everyone relates to mm -hmm. it so it's such a dope <coughs> thing to no, be able to do that and i'm so grateful for the the supporters to be honest because i want to say we have the best supporters like realistically hands down like bro. you guys always show love to us and the thing is like i feel like a lot all his a lot, most hispanic all, all hispanics i would say like we're not soft bro we don't be taking shit to like no to the heart like that like we could be ourselves and i feel like that's what makes it such an amazing like uh i guess experience filming mm -hmm. because we'll know they'll relate to us if that makes sense and uh by the way guys i stutter a lot and i and i do a, like um like i can never like just get the point across but what i'm trying to uh, explain and um, maybe it was different for you guys and i remember i talked about this a while back and someone took it the wrong way and said like not not on not on Chico Stokes, but I had said it on the pod or something, and someone took it the wrong way and said like, "Yo, it was never embarrassing for me to be Mexican or for me to be Hispanic." I never said that, but at least I could. I think you could vouch for this. Maybe you can too. You get me? But growing up, like when I was like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, you know, like when the internet just started becoming a thing, I would never see Hispanic creators. No, if that makes sense. The only one that I could think of off dome. And I could relate to so much, and it's crazy. I just met him. He's like one of like my biggest, like like he's the reason. One of the reasons I wanted to start doing social media was like Super Eagle and like Sleepy Brown, yeah, Cholo Adventures. Like I'll be like, damn, bro, this, like you know you, you uh you know your Mexican if yeah, like that'd be so relatable. Like yeah. I'll be like, bro, that I do that, I do that. You get me? Did you ever watch a uh, little Moco? I watched yeah, Lil Moco, Lil Moco too, too Lil man. Moco too. So it was like, but growing up, like those those are maybe three out of a million creators yeah. or at least that like i actually had a spotlight on them yeah. and i'm just like it's crazy how much like support and love the hispanic culture gives to us and gives to everybody else you know and anytime i see a hispanic creator like on my for you page i drop a like because i'm like bro like that, that's one of us you get me as a hispanic creator trying to mm -hmm. make it or doing it already mm -hmm. I, I don't i'm not trying to bash on nobody but i hate when i go on social media and i just see other Hispanic creators hating on each other yeah. or, or chismeando about each other. I'm like, bro, like, can we all just like get along? Get along you get me? Because yeah. there's not that many of us. Don't be <clears throat> yeah. maybe on your for you page because that's what you watch. You think there's a lot of uh, Hispanic creators, but if you go to like it's events, right there's not. I there's swear, not. there's probably like four or five of us over there. We're just cracking up, you know, having a good time. And then you know, I just I wish we could all really get along. Yeah. Realistically, no. I wanted to add on on because <clears throat> I do remember Felipe. You said it in one of our videos, which was the the Picolandia video, yeah. and it was us at Zoo Culture, and you said, and I I know exactly. I saw a bunch of comments saying like it was never because you were like, oh, it's it was it was embarrassing growing up Mexican. That's what you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, I was like it, it was embarrassing, and you said you but were talking you, about I'm the sorry, topic. But can you vouch for me that no, yeah, I have yeah, yeah. a hard time. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Explaining yeah. my words. Well, we like, know what you meant. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, the internet only saw one side of. Whatever, but you were explaining how if you were pull up to school blasting uh, banda or whatever, whatever Mexican Corrido, music, Gerardo Ortiz, all, all, yeah. you would get clowned, right? Bro. You would get clowned. They'd be like, "What you listening to?" 
oh, you listen to Mexican music? Yeah. I'm like, nah, nah, bro, she was on shuffle, it was on shuffle. I think my mom's playlist was yeah. on, and then you'd have to change it to like right. Rack City or like, you know, like Tiger or Odd Future. You know, you, you just try to, and maybe it was me being a bitch, like not being able to stand up for myself it's, and be like, I love Mexican music, but it'd be even my whole own Hispanic friends, you know? Yeah. And it wasn't like their fault, or maybe, maybe they liked it too, but they were just the same mindset, you get me? Like, ah, uh, nah, I can't get caught slipping listening mm -hmm. to that, you mm -hmm. get me? But yeah. realistically, I, at least where I grew up, like it was like that. Yeah. I, I don't know if you. No, no, no. If, if you, if you, if you know, if you guys allow me to say something real quick, it's not that, <clears> and I cannot express this enough. It's not that we were embarrassed to be Mexican, it, or Mexicans. It was the fact that people would embarrass us for being Mexican. Like I remember the same thing too. Like I, we're not kidding about the whole ESL classes. Like I went to ESL classes from first grade all the way to fifth grade, and I had obviously I've always had a stutter, and I also always um, I have an accent. So I remember, you know, even when I went to middle school and then I went, I, I didn't even go to the same, like my, my home <laughs> middle school, I went to a different middle school where there was a lot, uh, you know, a lot, a lot more like, like, white, like white kids there. And I remember I would like try to talk or, you know, when they used to make you read a book, the book out loud or mm, the, sent, or the mm -hmm. paragraph, and I would stutter and I would mispronounce the words. I remember people would make fun of, like fun of me. They'd be like, oh, you know, the, you know all, this, all the racial slurs, you know, mm. I, don't, I don't have the name and we all, you know, we all heard them before. And they would literally make, like, they would try to embarrass, embarrass us from, they would try to embarrass us for being Hispanics. And that's what, we, that's what we really meant to say the whole time. Like, we're not, I mean, I'm not embarrassed of being Mexican or Hispanic. No one's embarrassed. At this point, this is why we do this. This is why we're representing. But I, like I said, we, I grew up with, we, we all grew up with a lot of trauma. Little, and then another thing too, I don't know if it's just a Hispanic thing, but for some reason, like, Growing up in a household like that, they always clown on your insecurities, right? You know what yeah, I mean? Of course, like, yeah. You know, if but that's if how you build thick you know, skin. You know, if yeah. yeah, if you're if you're chubby, oh, if you're chubby, oh, ¿qué onda gorda? ¿Cómo estás? You know, ¿qué, qué onda? Uh, uh, chapo? They, yeah. they call him chapo for being short. You know, mm. it's just things like that. That's how we were grew. Uh, that's how we grew up with. So, you know, it's always just the insecurities, and you go, you go, you grow up, and you, at the time, you don't know it, but as you keep developing and keep becoming a better person, you understand that. It's just that's how the culture is, bro. You, you know just I mean? hit a flashback. I like the Esau, bro. Right. I remember like coming from Ecuador to here, and Felipe. By the way, it's a crazy story. But my first ever ever friend, who till this day we're still friends, still keep in touch. He's one of my best friends that I met here in the United States uh, when I was in the third grade. His name is Julio, and then yeah. you know Felipe's first ever friend yeah. is. Also named Julio. Yeah. I remember that. You can say your surname. That's how I said yeah, about, yeah, yeah, about yeah. my Julio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I, I remember coming from Ecuador here. Obviously, I, only, I didn't know a lick of English. And it was funny because in Ecuador, I remember my mom would make me study English, uh, use the English in barreras, right. like putting right. the disc in and me. But I didn't learn shit. Obviously, you have to learn with experience. You, you didn't get the Disney bundle? There's a Disney I, I bundle. I, on it. I had a Disney, Disney bundle. I, 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 I had a Disney bundle yeah. when I got here because I didn't know English. Uh -huh. My mom's like, Nah, they must come from Leicester. They got English in Barrera, and I got the Disney bundle. Like the that's little... hard. Yeah, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. And I will remember I, I when I came to the U.S. Brought in a lick of English, only Spanish. They put me in a in a class with uh with well yeah yeah they put me in a class with a, the teacher. I was gonna say professor, but the teacher who was actually bilingual. Um, but they had to transfer me. Sorry, backtrack. They had to, they first put me in a class, and because I didn't know English or Spanish, they had to transfer me to somebody that knew both languages. But my first ever friend helped me, Julio. He helped me translate from English to Spanish or Spanish to English. He would help me like with everything. But I would offer him my lunch. I'd be like, Yo, bro, I'll give you my lunch if if you could just translate this for me. My mom didn't even know no, I was but, doing that, but, bro. Yeah. But it was a struggle, and I remember like just I was from Esau from like yeah third grade to like fifth grade. Cause I came, obviously I probably would have been my dumbass would have been from first grade to fifth grade, yeah. but from third to fifth, I was in Esau and I kid you not, bro, from sixth grade all the way to junior year of high school, I was in intensive reading. Yeah. Do you guys have that here? Yeah, we did. I, I believe we did have it, right? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, well, intensive reading is just pretty much like you just didn't, well, in Florida there's now it's changed, but at the time it's called the FCAT uh -huh. and it's a English comprehensive test. You nice. have to read a uh, the, a story then you answer questions but i literally failed that exam from sixth grade all the way to 11th grade and then i finally finally junior year passed that because <clears throat> i always had problems like my english obviously speaking i didn't i didn't know any english 
and then finally my junior year i passed it with the score that you needed to pass you need a 245 to pass i got a 245 i remember but you just you just remember like no, Esau and, and, growing and, up and, the same and it's really funny that you bring that up just because like it i'm gonna tell you what stood out from that from what you just said <clears throat> it was the fact that you were willing to give up your own lunch yeah bro to be able to learn and fit in mm -hmm. to the country that you came into. Yeah. Bro, think about that. Yeah. A, a motherfucker like me would never give up my lunch. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. But the necessity. Talk about me. But the But hey, but the necessity was there. Like, nah, yeah, yeah. that's how you know you wanted to fit in, be in this country. So, no, I, I get it. I get it. I feel like I, it's also like a sink or swim situation, though, gang. What else you got? You got no choice, bro. You like, you just, my mom threw me into school. Yo, you got to go to school, like, obviously. And I didn't know English, so I have to learn. Yeah. I feel like that's when you succeed is when your back is against the wall. Just go at it, gang. You got no other choice. Sink or swim. They throw you in the pool. You got to swim. Oh, 100%. No, I, yeah. And I'm, I'm telling you, like, just going back to the whole thing with the classes, the ESL classes, I remember I went to the same with I, – I was in the same class with the same people all the way from first grade to fifth grade. And, like, obviously at the time, you know, you're, you're young, so you don't really ask these questions. But I really wish I can go back and, like, literally ask – all my classmates, like, where they came from, how were their struggles, like, how, what did they do to become the people they are now, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we all have a, we all have a past and we have a history that's very interesting, you know mm, what I mean? Yeah. And I'm pretty <clears throat> sure, like, the same thing, like, the same way that I, it happened to me, it probably happened to them too, but, you know, you live, you learn, never. But check the freaky shit out, though. Felipe, talk about how you're Julio. No, you know, you, you just reminded me too, it's not even, like, to one-up your story or, like, to... Related story. Oh, we trying to up with you. Oh, we yeah. trying to take the spotlight. She said she's in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, when I got here too, I was uh, I was in a with this teacher named Miss Kent, and I was only with her for a week because she didn't know English either. Bro, I'm I don't know if I'm a dumbass or I don't know, I don't remember too well. But in Mexico, when you sing when you sing the the national anthem over there, you go like this, mm -hmm. right? And um, I remember when she got this, she's like, "Oh, we're gonna we're gonna sing the national anthem for the flag, you know, for the United States." And I remember, I don't know why I was like this. I was kind of low, and it was basically near my stomach. And but I remember like vividly, she kind of like, like, are you dumb? Kind of like she, she kind of looked at me like, little bro, yeah, like, are you are you dumb? Like, what's going on? And then she, they told me like, I saw everybody go like this. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I knew that, I knew that. But basically, they subbed me out like a weekend. They subbed me out, and I went to Miss Castillo. And I remember Miss Castillo, but I had the biggest crush on Miss Castillo. <laughs> but anywho, <laughs> nah, bro, for real, like I remember her vividly, bro. She was like young and Latina. Ooh. Anywho, um, what was it called? <laughs> hey, bro, anyway, guys, this is hey, so hey, got he, I got sidetracked. I got sidetracked. Young Latina. <laughs> But she was. I, I, my sister just sent me a photo that she found me and my Miss Castillo. And he knew his taste from even back in the yeah, day, yeah, too. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? But how I said how it was Miss Kent, I didn't really make any friends there because I don't know why I didn't. But I got, like, a week later, I got transferred to Miss Castillo. <coughs> and then I remember I met my boy Julio, my boy Julio Munoz. I just leaked this whole government name. <laughs> but that's my dog. And I remember I came in, I was like, uh, ¿Qué andamos haciendo? And he's like, ¿No hablas inglés? I'm like, No. He's like, Okay, and then he just explained to me what we were doing, and then from there we just became friends. You get me? And and he would translate for me. Like I remember, I would I would tell him like uh like I'd be like esa, esa, esa niña está bonita, you know? And then he'd be like, oh, uh, mi amigo dice que uh, te quiere, and I'm like, no <laughs> way, bro. Like he was my wingman since day one, that's, bro. But that's yeah. crazy, bro. We have the same. Think about it, bro. We met our. You know, that was your first friend. That was my first friend. First yeah. friend, like, bro. Julio was my first friend. First friend. Mine, mine was Julio. His was Julio. Same situation. I didn't speak Spanish. He didn't speak... I mean, sorry. I didn't speak English. He didn't speak English. Yeah. And he, they both translated for us. It's fucking it's crazy. It's insane, man. It's kind of wild. Insane. I mean, I ain't getting my lunch, though. We go, we go <laughs> fight for my lunch. I ain't giving him the free lunch. You ain't the wanted enough. The free lunch was crazy You ain't wanted too. enough. Uh, huh? You ain't wanted enough. Not giving up your lunch? No, like he I wasn't know, really no, hungry. No, he he wanted, I was but hungry. he was hungry. Bro. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> he was hungry. Yeah, bro. Nah. Giving giving away your bro back then. I'm talking about like first grade, maybe through what, like third or fourth it was, grade. It was, if I'm not mistaken, people always talk about it. It's after uh, 2008 when Michelle Barack Obama, Obama mm -hmm. came into office. Michelle Obama took over like the the food, and that's yeah. why it became like nasty. I guess. Yeah, you know? I know. Because before, like, I remember you get like corn dogs, mini corn dogs. Lasagna, like good lasagna, oh, pizza. I remember when you used to get the pink, pink strawberry, the pink strawberry milk. That oh was oh my! Fire, I was asking Felipe the, the other day. The raspberry uh, <clears throat> juice too was gas, bro. Was I was asking Felipe the other day too about um, if y'all ever had the popcorn chicken with mashed potatoes and cheese, that was a go-to. And back then, like that'll be my. That 
I mean, wait, what kind? I, of, wait, I know there's some kids. There you go. Yeah, I'm about to say I went to private school or some shit. Nah. <laughs> what kind of wait? What kind of school did you go, big bro? It was a public school, bro. What was it called? My middle school or what? No, your elementary. Elementary was Vista Lakes. Vista, Vista Lakes. Lakes. Vista Lakes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Vista Yo, you know I actually do want. I I would love to like see my all my teachers, bro. Like that'd be dope. I you by know, the way, but sorry, sorry. Can I give a? I've been looking for my third grade teacher because he just reminded. No, 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 no. Because he's the one that the one that. I remember till this day he was like the English Spanish teacher that helped me the most, and he used to actually go to my church. But what's his name? His name is Mr. Ruiz. 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 I want to say his first name was Alex, bro. Alex Ruiz, but his name is Mr. Ruiz. Man, if your dad is Mr. Ruiz and he, he teaches that middle school, I mean uh, Vista Lakes Elementary, hit me up, man. I would love to get in touch. Yo, how with him. crazy would it be if you like check your DMs and he's nah, like, bro? I swear I probably cry. Insane, I probably yeah. I make a crazy. How guy. crazy would it be if he's like, yeah, let's go get a beer? bro. That would be insane. How crazy would it be if he's like, yo, let's go to the cari Cariñosas? Nah, let's go to the casino. That's what I would have said. <sighs> hey, thank you for all the times. I'll take care of you at the casino. That, bro, that is actually crazy. That would be dope. Such a you coming out fat with your, your third grade teacher? Like, you, just, you just come out big with the yeah. teacher? Nah, that man, would that'd be, be pretty dope. insane, bro. Teachers, are, teachers are, are, I feel like, are underappreciated, man. They, oh, they got to put up with all these kids for eight hours a day, I'm going to be honest, though. Not all of them. And I'm throwing, well, at least the people that I- Bro's throwing the, shots? No, 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 no. Who hurt you, dog? No, I'm going to be- Name him, name him. Name drop him so, so we know not honest, to shout them out. Bro. Shout them out. What Mr. Chastain. Hey, man. Mr. Chastain, hey, when I catch up to you, huh? Mr. Chastain, I, 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 it's because I don't want to speak bad. I don't know if he passed away or anything uh, like nah, that. But yeah, yeah. If, you, if, you, if you haven't passed away, fuck you. If you <laughs> what? Away, what? If you passed away, may your beautiful soul rest in Wait, peace. Wait, what happened? What did he do? Nah, did it's he rush you or no, something? No, 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 no. It's because you always have that one fucking teacher that doesn't believe in you and that Loki's kind of racist without really acting like he's not racist. But I remember I had a couple of teachers. Yes, I get it. I, 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 I wasn't a dumbass in school. You can go back. Like, I literally ha I had, like, really good grades and everything until... I went to high uh, high school. Like I didn't like I did not like to do homework, bro. I just thought homework wasn't necessary, especially if you're spending eight hours a day. Mm. Like I thought homework wasn't necessary, but you know apparently homework plays a big, uh, huge role in, in in graduating. You know. <laughs> apparently. No, apparently I didn't know. You know. But anyways, <laughs> I remember I had a apparently. talk with, where he was like, "Yo, you're not gonna be shit. Like you're not gonna do anything in life. Like you, what what are you doing with yourself? Like you ain't shit. This this and this, bro." I, that's I, crazy, bro. I, I have a... Oh, man. If I ever <laughs> hey, see you in just person... Keep it, just keep it. Just keep it humble. No, that's crazy. Kill him with silence. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. The silence, bro. I'm a... I'm, no, I don't even say the word kill, but... Oh, yeah. I just know I just know if I ever see you in person... If I ever run into you at Cabana... <laughs> no, I'm a money spray your shit, bro. Nah, band bro. Don't for band. I, 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 nah, I'm just kidding. It's too much. That's too much. No, what do you mean? It's. A, I thought it was a safe space. Uh, yeah, bro. Let him cook. Yeah. yeah you, hey, you screaming into that mic, huh? I, no, I felt it, bro. You I felt it in your soul. That one. No, I felt that one I feel because it. I feel it. Li li literally, I'm. I'm sorry. No, yeah, no, no. That, but li like, <clears throat> literally, bro. Like, there's always that one freaking person that was always like, nah, not this, not that, nah, nah bro. It's look where I'm at. I'm right next to Felipe and Diego. Uh. Nah, call down. <laughs> Nah, but I mean, obviously, we wouldn't be here without you guys. That you, if, if you're if you're if you're watching, if you're still in this video, this far, this far in, you really we really appreciate with us. you. Oh, we like, love bro. you guys so Thank much. You. And sorry if this is like uncoordinated. Sometimes you know, like we're just going off don't high. Say it's a safe space. That's it. You know, ask questions, uh, ask topics. Like we want to talk about everything. To be honest, this is just our first pod, and hopefully, it's not our last. But please <laughs> add, ask topics, ask questions. The juicier, the better. The girthier, even mejor. So let us know for real. So we get, we are gonna throw that out there. So reach out to those uh, chicos toxicos on Instagram if you have like Felipe said any questions or anything like that. You can also reach out to us at loschicostoxicos at gmail.com if you guys want to <coughs> ever participate, if you guys ever want to be part of the show. Like we mentioned earlier, guys, this is a safe space. We're not here to please anyone or this, this, and then. No, we're here to be ourselves. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Like yeah. this is the we're having some of the conversations that we have back at home. Yeah. And like I'm gonna be honest, a, a lot of a lot of you guys, you know, obviously you only see what goes on in front of camera, but I guarantee you guys there's like sixty percent of the things that we do even in the camera that don't even go on the episode. So like um, we're giving you guys a little insider scoop of what we're doing and I hope you guys really like it. And if you how don't, we feel like I said and like Felipe said in the beginning, we don't really this isn't like who are we gonna get on the pod this week? Who are we gonna we need a guest? We need a guest. We're, bro, I'm gonna keep it on it. This is for us. Like we yeah. this is us three. We just wanna talk, vibe, catch up. 
talk to you guys. Like, if we, if anybody wants to come on, cool, bro. Let's do make, it. Make but the, we're not like, I don't want you guys to be like, oh, like, who's going to be on the next week? Who's going to, bro, it's, for now, it's just us. It's going to be a vibe. Whoever you guys see on here is going to be somebody, and I told Felipe and Brandon, <clears throat> I want it to be somebody we genuinely already kick it off camera, outside of camera, and have already a good relationship. Because I feel like you could tell, like, on camera, people could tell. When if you're, you're forcing if, if, when you're forcing a relationship or you're fo you're forcing content, you're trying to like, it gets, the chemistry is not there. So yeah. this is why I think this is gonna uh, this is gonna do amazing. Hopefully, God willing, because bro, what so, you guys see on camera and off camera, so this is how we are. So basically, lower your guys' expectations. We're not doing anything crazy. We're not here to be like special yeah. guests. Yeah, we're like we're not gonna we're not gonna get fucking Drake on here, man. <laughs> I mean, if he wants to, come unless on, he wants to slide, if he wants you know to come saying? on, yeah, if he wants to come on camera. Oh, you want to call Aubrey? Uh, nah, I don't want to bug him right now. Nah. Nah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. But nah, but yeah, that's basically it, guys. Not not the wrapping it up. That's basically what we're trying to get at. And comment down below, man. Topics, juicy ass topics, man. What's up with Ecuador raiding Mexico, man? Let's talk oh, about that. God. What's going on there? Bro? Look, look. Uh, I I, I think don't... we should settle this in the ring, <laughs> me and you. Hey, now nah, let's let's just hold the flags. We'll tie the flag. We'll tie the flags together. Yeah, just... <laughs> ya no masa la guerra. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Bro, like hey, you got, doing, you like got that shit from straight out of Compton, huh? No, no, no. When they got the no, I, I told them that. You've never seen the meme? But have you seen the meme where it's like... The soccer player, it's right? It's a soccer player. He scores a goal and he goes up to the camera. It's like a Sunday league too, bro. Uh -huh. He's like... <laughs> and then it like it like it like reverses the the earth like the rockets coming back down they're just spinning back like everybody's together <laughs> because this one motherfucker decided to say, no you know, la bro guerra. yeah bro thought he did something with that he yeah. thought he cooked bro like it was Sunday league bro like straight Sunday league like <laughs> patchy I, I he, you know he looked like me like out of shape and he scores a banger and he goes like this ya no masa la guerra and I'm like, bro, no bro, way. It, it, it was, it, the spotlight was on him, and bro, he did not waste a second he waste it, to ay. preach, bro. Bro said, hey, I'm going to fix the world right hey, now. Hey, hey, hey. Round of applause for that guy. Yeah, round of applause, applause for him, bro. Hey, we got him on the pod, man. <laughs> Thank you for real. No, no. But I actually, I'm not too well educated on exactly what happened with why they did it, or... But I am, I have seen or have looked into it. Nobody, have, nobody has been severely injured or nothing's crazy like that. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know why they did it. Um... But, you know, it's all love. People were DMing me and DMing Felipe, like, so with uh, Ecuador and Mexico, man, y'all got to split the group up. I'm like, we ain't <laughs> do shit. We ain't do nothing. <laughs> it's all love. Nah, yeah. I don't know what happened. I was just, I was just trying to troll Diego because we haven't gained tired in that. And to be honest, how Diego said, I, I read a little bit into it. I said, I don't, I don't like getting into that. Like, not that's not safe space, but thank God no one was hurt. And, I mean, I don't, I don't know the president personally. If not, I would have called him. But, man, fix the narco situation first, man. What you doing? <laughs> Stop worrying about Ecuador. Fix the narco situation. That's what I would have told him if I knew him personally. That's but, um, yeah, I uh, I realistically don't know what's going on, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought I was going to get deep into it. I thought I was going to come up with something. I'm going to be honest. This is the first I've heard of it. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I haven't, heard I haven't, really, hear no, I haven't really got into that. So, Ecuador... In the Ecuador... Ecuador... Um, invaded uh, Mexico's embassy. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't hear about some shit like this. So yeah. what's the what's the beef? What happened? That's, so I, I, I don't guess, know, man. And cebollado I, versus tacos. <laughs> what's up with that? And cebollado against pues, pozole. I was gonna say pozole. <laughs> pozole. Speaking of that, the Copa America is coming up, man. I just want to just put that. I just want to. That's the one in, in, in uh, Arizona. 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 Okay. Mexico, Ecuador. Diego trying to set me up, guys. He keeps trying to t send me to uh, Arizona. I don't know, man. No, real, it's real. right let's, there on the let's border. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it, bro. Are you actually? Okay. Are you actually afraid to be deported? Like, obviously you are. Obviously that's no. But I'm saying like 100. percent I I really am, bro. I really am because and because and, and sorry to interrupt you, but I'm only asking this because people have been uh wondering or commenting even. They're like, what? How is Felipe so open on the internet, especially like viral, like millions of views? Especially after we did the podcast. No, no. Millions uh, of views with the podcast that we did with Brad and Sarah of you talking and being open about being one undocumented and um, yeah. just really being open about that status, which is good, but it's also bad because you don't know who's watching and people have bad, unfortunately, bad intentions sometimes. So um, what's going on? Talk to me about that, man. So if I'm be <clears> honest, <throat> just based on my little knowledge that I know, because I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I know everything about immigration laws or I don't and this and that. But I, I talk about it and I... And I always say I always say I'm Mexican, not to be like oh I'm like I know you're Mexican too yeah. you're born in Mexico but like I say you're just born here in America, so technically you're American right? I don't say it to be like oh I'm, you're not Mexican I'm Mexican I don't say that I say it because there's people that fought 
for that right for me. You get me? Like there's people that died in honor for me to say, oh, yo soy, you know, Mexicano. So um, I'm always proud to say I'm from Mexico. Uh, I know there's a bunch of people in the same situation as me that probably don't have papers just like myself. And uh, I just want to know that you're not alone. That's literally why I say you're not alone. To be honest, you're not. And uh, it makes me proud when people hit me up. They're like, oh, we're in the same boat. But soon in... It just gets me sad, you get me? Nah, you chillin'. Nah, nah bro. you good, you good, you good. Oh, fuck, why am I... <clears throat> I had coffee, I didn't even have alcohol before doing this. Nah, you're good, talk but about it. But basically, Cause, cause <clears throat> I, I, just, I just said a bunch of nothing there. Basically, I say I'm Mexican because I'm proud to be Mexican, not to belittle somebody else or this and that. I say because I know there's somebody on the screen watching and they've been scared or embarrassed to say, oh, I'm Mexican because you don't know, you don't, you don't know who's watching, you know? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I just want, I want to let you know that there's more of us and not even just... Me, you know, I'm pretty sure Salvadorians out there that don't have papers or Guatemalans or Ecuadorians, you know. Mm -hmm. I just want to know that it's okay for you to be in that situation right now. God willing, it gets better. But you're not alone at the end. You're of the not world. alone. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You're not alone. Like, I'm Mexican, but let's say you're a Salvadorian and you don't have papers. We're in the same boat, you get me? Mm -hmm. And there's somebody here <clears throat> that relates to you. That's why I'm so open to speaking about it. Um, and I speak so freely because uh, California. Is like a safe sanctuary to what I know for immigrants. You get me? That's why like whenever, yeah, I might be trolling sometimes, but whenever they say, "Oh, let's go to let's go to Texas," I get scared because I know Texas is not the safest. Yeah, I know there might be people there. Uh, there might be a whole population there that doesn't have papers. But if I'm not mistaken, to what I've heard, and it's just word of mouth, there is scenarios where people could be driving and they get pulled over, yeah. and they and. By law, I, I hate to break it to you guys. If you're watching and you're in the same boat as me, you have to be honest. Or you just, uh, to the safest thing is say, I'm, I don't want to answer any questions. I want to speak to my lawyer. But, like, let's say I were to get pulled over and they ask me in that state and, like, by <coughs> ICE patrol. The safest thing I can say is I want to talk to my lawyer. Uh, but let's say you want to be slick and be like, oh, I'm a U.S. citizen. You literally cannot say that. You can't say you're a U.S. citizen to a uh, official officer, like an uh, ICE officer, because that'd be like, uh, I forget, is it? I don't know what it is, but you could get banned. You'll get deported for sure, and you'll get banned like five, ten years from the United States ever crossing back. So that's why I, I just try to be as open as possible. Sorry if I said a bunch of nothing at, at the beginning. I just get like uh, like tongue-tied, and I try to make, I try to throw out the point, but just my word and my brain, they don't <laughs> comprehend too easily. Nah, bro, but yeah, that's realistically why I always say, I'm Mexican, and I'm always honest about, you know, my legal status. Yeah, That's real. And no, that's, oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. It's, and, and it's a big thing because, like, we see that in the comments. Like, people say, like, yo, take Felipe to New York. Take him to, you know, this. Take him that. Guys, we would love to. Like, we uh, – uh, lately, they've been saying take Felipe to Hawaii. I, I, mm -hmm. on the last, I yeah. haven't seen that. Bro, we would, we would, we would love to. Like, it's, it's a thing, but it's not – it's not – what we say it's what make what makes Felipe feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. If it, he's not if he's not comfortable, why would I take someone to some to a place where he's not gonna be comfortable exactly. and relaxed? You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It's not a vacation. And yes, we would love to show you guys and show the, uh, the, the, the our audience and our supporters that we're there. But at what cost? Yeah. At him being paranoid the whole time. Yeah. At him, you know, being legit scared going through TSA like it's just it's not worth it you know yeah. what I mean no yeah so it's whenever you know we're ready for that and he's ready for that that would be dope. And, and I appreciate you guys for real because they've said that like you always go here and I'm like oh y'all could go they could easily be like you know we'll go but they're always like nah but we'll stay bro because you know they respect my decision and they're really like my brothers at the end of the day like not to go even too far Hawaii right like yeah. Diego was just talking about Catalina like not too long mm -hmm. ago yeah and we've seen videos accounting the videos like oh I'm I'm an immigrant I go to Catalina all the time or even Hawaii you know too it's just bro literally we go to Vegas sometimes and for those for those that are from California that go to Vegas you know it's just a straight desert road and then there's like there's like a checkpoint but it's for like fruit and like other things the weight limits yeah the weight limit like checkpoint you guys, Diego, whoever's been in the car with me, I swear I just tense up. Because I, I don't know what could happen, you get me? It's like a scary feeling, Yeah, 100%. to be honest. And I know you know that feeling because, you know, you were you didn't have papers for the longest. And God willing, you got papers. It's a scary feeling knowing of course. that you could just be sent back like this. You know That's what? Why it, I, oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. No. That's why I feel like uh, <clears throat> I, I, we are very so understanding. Obviously, you were in the situation. I fortunately wasn't in that situation where I came undocumented and then got citizenship and all that. But I did have a visa resident, but that's not the point. The point is 
um i feel like that's why i'm so understanding because i do have family that's here in the states undocumented and i know that feeling seeing it through them and are growing up and seeing it through them and then me coming here meeting felipe and seeing it with him it kind of just like like how it wouldn't it wouldn't be fair for me to call him like oh bro you're being a bitch for not going to arizona with me like blah blah like bro we have to be understanding like even though i didn't live through it personally i witnessed it and i'm witnessing it again and like i just like i wouldn't like he said bro oh y'all can go film without me like nah bro this is this is us like this is what this is our thing and we'll work around it we'll find ways to 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 make a video happen wakeboarding for example with that that wakeboarding where do you find a lake in los angeles yeah and i was like yo let's just look let's let's see what we can make this happening and we sure enough we even we brought something to la yeah and uh even even um i mean we were talking about it too um it was funny we were actually talking about it when we got done filming um when we went to the fraternity we were on the way back we were saying yo we should go to like we should go to vegas on a flight for one day or let's go to new york and we were really like trying to express that because we just felt like I mean, bro, like saying that we're at a different state and meeting up with other supporters and just being able to hang out with them would be amazing. But, you know, we just couldn't, you know, it was it, it was hard. And I, like we just expressed it like Felipe <clears throat> has always been, you know, kind enough to be like, yo, you guys go. But we came t- we came up together and we're not going to leave any man behind. And that's just the rule that we've always said and hey. done. You know what I mean? Like I remember, too, like and I said this before and I don't mean to just keep repeating it and repeating it. You know what I mean? Like. You know, I said this before, like, I didn't have papers from, like, I think sixth grade all the way to, like, ninth grade because back back then I had my visa. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, that I, went, that I stayed in a little too long. And then uh, I remember, like, doing that whole JROTC where they, like, uh, where they would go to San Diego. And I remember, bro, like, I wanted to go so bad. And I, like I said, I, I said the story before, but I'm repeating it because it was really, it, it sucked. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't have papers, but... I remember like we had everything ready. Like I signed the 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 what is that shit called? The field trip slip mm-hmm. and everything ready to go, bro. In the last minute, my mom canceled. She said you cannot go, and I was like, why? I'm just going to San Diego. She's I'm going with the school. She's like, you cannot go, and that's that's that. I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're not going. Kept me in the house. Everyone went. They had an amazing time. Missed out on it, but. You know what? It was. It had to be done. Yeah, you were young though. You didn't understand. I didn't. I didn't know, but I was in tears that night. I'm not I gonna bet, lie. Yeah. But you know, it's just. We were gonna say something though. Uh, what was I gonna say? I applaud uh Felipe, bro, cause like you're again, you're putting on. Realistically, bro, y'all both of you Mexican. Felipe, you've been in the game a little longer with the being in front of a camera and yeah. like putting on, like putting on for Mexico, bro. Like people that are in the same boat as you, same situation, undocumented, and you're like my respect for you being brave enough to talk of openly talk about that shit. Because that's not something that anybody like your mom. I'm sure tells you like, yeah, no le digas yeah. a nadie. Like, be careful who you like. It's don't like trust you're anybody. Dirty little secret. Like, yeah, yeah don't be telling people. That. Yeah, <laughs> dirty, dirty little, little secret. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I just got too serious, man. I had to brighten the mood. Yeah, you're nah, you're right. But I, I just, all, 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 overall, I just want to say, bro, I applaud dirty you and I respect you. Dirty, but dirty little secret, guys. Nah, but yeah, hey, don't ever be embarrassed. And uh, you know, I don't know. I, I try. I'm telling you, I'm trying to explain this so much, but just the words aren't coming out. Uh, how I said that's the reason I say it. That's the reason I say it so openly because I know somebody out there watching. There's more of us, guys. There's more of us. And remember, the sun comes out for everybody. Technically, we're illegal, but in God's eyes, we're all the same. Oh, so I'm gonna leave it at. You ate with that one, gang. Amen. I'm just say that. I'm gonna leave it at that. Was it? And, and and I know you just said you're gonna leave it at that, but is it? You know, obviously being a Mexican content creator trying to build an audience and this is for you as well mm-hmm. was it hard in the beginning like when you first started like now it's it's becoming a little not more common but it, you're seeing it a little bit more like about you being open about your roots and everything like in the beginning was it hard like with st- having to put up with negative comments what do you mean like people like people <laughs> say no <laughs> Did I, not, cut me off guard. Did, did I not? Hey, expect- you gotta dumb it down, no, I'm so, I'm yeah, so, so, Hey, hey little bro, my shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> like, I meant to. You say, went to Pearson, man. Right? Yeah, I went for semester. No, I, 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 I went, went to Valencia. My bad. Sorry. No, no, no. You're good. I basically well, what I meant to say was it was it was it bad when like when people would hop online and be like, oh, like you're me- like deport him back, like you're Mexican. This, this, and this. this and nah, that. bro. I was always thick skinned though. Like, I mean, I might have been dropping a tear right now, but. Uh, I always took it like, man, let them, bro. It's funny. It's, it's more comments. And I'm going to be honest, some of them were funny, bro. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, they got like, some funny Some were funny, bro. Shit, bro. Like, I know that's like a sensitive topic to talk about because politics and all that. But some of the comments is funny, bro. I ain't even going <laughs> to lie, bro. What they say? What they, <laughs> what they, what they, what they say? They're like, yo, hey, uh, uh, 
what should we do for Felipe's birthday? And oh, people said, were like, deport him or take him to San Diego? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's really someone that said that. I, if I have the message, bro, that's just... Nah, bro, people were out hilarious. of pocket. But bro. I'm not going to lie, bro, how I said I... I'm not gonna like whine, but it's funny. Like it's a f- like obviously it's not funny that I can get the food, but it's funny like when they say it. Like yeah. I'm not gonna say you and be like like a negative Nancy. Like oh man, we should report that account. Like bro, it's freedom of speech. Yeah. That's the reason we're here in the United States. Everybody got freedom of speech. Yeah, you get yeah, me? yeah. yeah. 100%. Like anybody can say whatever they want, and if you if you can't handle it, just hop See, offline. Yeah, you get yeah. me? Just if log you out. If you can't handle the heat, get out the kitchen. No, yeah, no, just, no, just log out. Just log nah, out. It's some real. Sh- no, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. some real shit. A lot of people get discouraged because they read a bad comment. Yeah, 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 yeah. They stop. Yo, this is for the people. A lot of people reach out to us and they're like, yo, you guys, I, you know, I'm so happy that there's people out there doing it and I want to do it. And people get inspired for what they do. People are going to talk shit all the time. Don't ever get discouraged. If you're literally building something for yourself, keep going, keep hustling, keep doing yourself, mm-hmm. guys. Yes, literally, if, if, if any one of us got discouraged for a bad comment, we would like, I'll never step out of the house. But guess what? Build tough, uh, thick skin. Go out and do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Go out and build build what you want to do. I Create always said, bro, you're never going to be everybody's favorite cookie, bro. Uh, you're not going to... Li- people... Cookie. People. Co- <laughs> <laughs> about cookies now? <laughs> no, but real shit, like, if, especially if you're in a group, I like you know? I like cookies, too. If you're in a group, like, there's... Someone's always... Oh, I don't... I like him more than him. I don't like him at all. Yeah. I don't like this, and I don't... Like, everybody has their flaws, bro. Not everybody's going to like you. That's of life. Course. Like, who gives a f- yeah, like just, go out, go out and do it. Keep creating content. Do what you want to do, bro. There's people that are sitting down, writing that, shit, not doing anything with their life, and there's people like not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not referring to us. I'm referring to the people that want to do this. Just do it. Go for it, man. Yeah. Fucking. I want to say what really helped at least, and now I got now I got your question. Okay. <laughs> now I understood it. Like in process. <laughs> Five minutes <laughs> later. <laughs> now in process. Um, how you said, bro? Like Hispanic families, they, they will get at you for your, your biggest insecurity, mm-hmm. and they'll cook you. But you're laughing at it at the end of the day. That's how I see the internet. Like, yeah. it's just like my big family. And sh- sometimes they have something to say. And it's, it's just funny sometimes. Right. When it's not, when it's like direct, I'm like, damn, game, what I do? Like, <laughs> let me make it better. But nah, like, really, realistically, I just see, like, everybody, like, my family. And uh, how you say, it, bro? Your family cooks you, bro. Like, family, family cooks. Hey, me, bro. Family cooks, family bro. will humble you, bro. Family you, will humble you. You know what's crazy? Like, I know, obviously, in my family, like, I don't have the biggest family here. Realistically, I have my mom, my dad, mm-hmm. my siblings. She has a sister, and <laughs> that's how I met my uncle and shit. And then I have a madrina who I would consider my aunt. That was my whole family. Like, that was all my family. Like, if I had to say who my family was, that was my family. Not to be like, oh, I don't have a small family. That's realistically yeah. what I have here. What I have here. Obviously, yeah. in Mexico, is a different story. But when I got into my girlfriend's family, I understood what having a big family was and what was being hated on was like. It's not to bash them or anything. But that's when I, I threw thicker skin. I'm not going to lie. And that was like freshman year. Yeah. Cause, bro, they they're cook your shit. Yeah. Like that's when I understood what having a big family was. You get me? Yeah. And uh, getting cooked, how you said, like like those insecurities. Like obviously my aunt wouldn't call me fat. Yeah. But when I got to my girlfriend's family. Oh yeah. No no they. And the it's gordito it, in the stuff. That's it. Felipe. Si, el gordito. No, that's I, literally I, what I they. I cook my shit. <laughs> that's what they know you for. It's yeah. like the biggest thing. Like, you know, there's. You know, I have a, I have a, I have a cousin in the family, and you know, he's a little more dark skinned. He's oh, este, on mi pretito type of thing. You know what I mean? It just, he just bounce on that. It's a thing. Yeah. I mean, for me, bro, I'm short, but you know what I mean. If I don't, if I don't get cooked, right here, el, el chapito. <laughs> if I don't get cooked for my family at home, I get cooked with this family over here. Which, like I said, it's. I've it's never love. cooked your height, king. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> this motherfucker. <laughs> nah, man. At the end of the day, I don't know. I love y'all, bro. I love, I love you. I love y'all too. Shit. Honestly, I'm very blessed yeah. to have be able to been able to meet you guys, and you know have such I an. Am- I'm so sorry. No, man. no, no. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. I just cut you off. <laughs> I wouldn't trust Diego. That I love you though, man. How do you say I love you? Like I, when I, I just said you, it. I, I, love I. You, I love you, bro. Like, I love you. Bro, I love yeah. you, and I love you, bro. I be, I be like going sometimes deep with Diego. <laughs> Hey, yo, I mean, like, pause. Like, on the messages, we'd be talking like on some like, I love you, bro. And he'd be like, love you too. You think I am your side? <laughs> put the I love you in there. He really presses me about bro, that. I swear. Felipe will text me. Like, he'll send me a sentimental or something. Like, yeah. I love you, bro. And I'd be like, love you too, bro. He's like, why don't you put an I in front of it? Like, what's the difference? He's like, there's is a difference, that, bro. It is a difference. Yeah, like, a difference. It, it's a difference, bro. It's like, it's the like, I oh, yeah, love, hey, love, like, love you too. Yeah, I love you, dog. Instead of saying, oh, I love you, bro. I yeah. love you. I, I, I do. And we lock eyes with eyes. You, know <laughs> <laughs> you want to kiss me, too, nah, while you're at I'm it? Nah, I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> just nah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, um, 
I don't know if I should say to save it to the end, but I'll just say it now. Like, I'm really glad that we're able to, like, literally show the other side of what goes on behind the cameras. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, you guys literally only see, like, 60% of what really happens throughout our day when we're filming. You know what I mean? No, no, no. You only see, like, 40%. The other 60%, this is us just literally brainstorming, getting mad at each other, yelling at each other, cooking each other. Like, there's so much We don't shit yell that at each other. Loving each other. No, but, like, not, not, not yell, but, like, we get annoyed. That's what I meant to say. You know no, what I mean? I don't think we get annoyed. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, we just have, we just have, we just we can't agree on something, so we just have debates. That's like what it is. But you know what? Like, I'm gonna be honest, man. It's really just Diego and Brandon. I just be right there, like, yeah, man. Whatever y'all want to do, I'm there. <laughs> this is how it, this is how it really works, bro. Real shit. I'm the one stressing, bro. Stressing everything, if it's, whether it's content, merch, and all that. Then I have the help, the hand, the helping lending hand, Brandon uh -huh. helping with the other operations, and then Felipe is like. Yeah, man. So what we filming? <laughs> no, like, what? no, 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 no. Oh, nah, I come up with the idea, hey, stupid. No, nah, no, no, yeah, no, no, you, no, 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 no. This, nah, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about like when shit gets serious and like there's a serious scenario, like Diego and Brandon are like, oh, we should do this, 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 and I'm just like, and then they're like, what you think, Felipe? I'm like, yeah, whatever y'all thought, man. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> so the, and it, the, he does. Uh, Felipe does do that, but the funniest shit Felipe does, he no. Um, <laughs> Diego, Diego and I are like just going back and forth. He's sharing his ideas. I'm sharing my ideas. And we look back at Felipe like that Kodak black meme. And then we're like, what you think, Felipe? Shit, I just need some pussy on my lips. <laughs> I'm like, yo, bro. I remember one time we, we had just came out of a meeting, guys. We had an ex- Oh, my bro, God. stressful ass meeting. Ex bro, like really, really, really bad meeting. Guys, when we tell you like we put blood, sweat, and tears into the things that we do, we mean it. We came out of that shit, right? Hey, uh, uh, Diego and I, we we were just cooked from that meeting. We stepped out. What you uh, what you think, Felipe? Oh no 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 no. What you uh, yeah? What you think, Felipe? He's like, I don't know. Whatever. It was it was good. Diego's like, bro, you are the most like the 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 least worried out of the whole fucking group, bro. You just live life just to live, bro. No. You just you just don't give a fuck. Let's not go into too much detail. But remember, like, when the meeting got hot, and, oh like, the meeting God, got hot, bro. Oh like, like, can like, I tell the story? Yeah, you can tell the story. Let me yeah, tell the story. Too much detail, let, talk about let, let me express this, guys. This was, like, it like you was... Could, you, could cut a, you could cut a piece of paper with the tension? Yeah. You could hear a needle drop. It was quiet. It was intense. Like, it was a... Yeah. Let's just say some projects wouldn't have happened in this if it wasn't for this meeting. Like it was intense. Type yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. So let me let let's end this. Let's end it with this story. Okay. Let's okay. end it with this story because this is this is a good story. So boom, we're in a meeting. All three of us sit down. <laughs> tensions hot. We can't really get too much into detail what it was, but tensions were hot. Let's just say things weren't going our way. Things weren't going their way. Everything was about to just fall, drop down, right? And so me and Brandom, room stressing, bro. Everybody's quiet. Renee um, was there too. Renee, our cameraman, cameraman was, was there. there. So let's just like look, it's oh, bro, I just had deja vu. No Holy way. I swear I just had deja vu. That's crazy. Anyways. What's that? Bro, I have the craziest deja vu right now. Again? I swear. And on everything I, I love. Like, I heard moaning. <laughs> what? I heard moaning. <laughs> that that not... in the back? Yeah. What's going on? Uh, uh... <laughs> hey, Bosman, what's going on in the next studio? Nah. <laughs> Are we in the right studio, man? <laughs> nah, the crazy Is this thing. their couch? <laughs> this is the casting couch for them or us, man? What's going on? Nah, so look, so anyways, tensions are high. I remember vividly. I was where Felipe was. Felipe was in the middle. Brandon was here. Across the table are the, the guys we're meeting with. Tensions were high and um, going back and forth. And I kid you not, bro, from the corner of my eye, I see Felipe get out of his chair. Goes, he pushes back. He's like, <sighs> he pushes, gets out the chair, walks behind me. I'm seeing all this happen, like peripheral, peripheral. Goes behind me. There's a couch right where Brandome is, right? Let's just say Brandome. There's a couch, red couch, long. Kid you not. I swear on everything I love. Tensions high, stressful. Me and Brandome stressing. Felipe <laughs> gets up, goes behind me, goes on the red couch, lays down, feet up, and does this shit. Yo, Yo no, no, when no, I tell you that shit got me hot, bro, I was like, I texted Felipe. No, you texted on the group I chat, I texted bro. in the group chat. I was like, no way you just fucking lay down on the couch right now. <laughs> and Felipe goes like this, gets back up and sits back down. He's like, all right, what's going on? Bro, you forgot the most crucial part. And I'm sorry, look, 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 look. 
he literally got up, right? He was in the meeting, got up from the table, laid down, went like this. Oh my God, yes. <sighs> Bro, he put, he had a Bro. pillow, a pillow he over was his shit. The, guys, imagine like the most stressful, <laughs> the most stressful meeting you ever had in your life. And he does that. It's serious, bro. <laughs> serious meeting. He comes back. He sits down and he goes on the group chat. My fault, CEO. <laughs> <laughs> he goes back. And then Rene, he's like, damn, dog. I thought it, it, it was either a power move or you just don't give a <laughs> fuck. That was a big power move, bro. <laughs> what, what was running through your head? I just want to know, bro. Bro, that's the day we went to go film the video. They come out the, the bodybuilding. Oh, yeah. We were up at 4 a.m. for that 4 video. 4 a.m., but I was tired. So, so what happened? So what, like, what in your brain process you were like, you know what? Well, he, the dude in go. front of me was counting numbers. Like, it was just like a bunch of stuff was going on. He didn't need our help. He hadn't talked to us for like 10 minutes. I might as well go, I might as well go lay down. You get me? <laughs> what? In <laughs> somebody's dog, office. talking to us. Dog, imagine. Well, but the reason he wasn't talking to us was because the deal was going to be cooked, bro. Like, he was hot. What was I going to do, man? <laughs> Can kiss him? I was, might as well go sit down. But nah, he not, swinging. He, swing, he got me first. Not sit down. Lay down, yeah, bro. You to lay down with, with the, the pillow. pillow over with your the chest. No, nah, that was bro, that was crazy. That was actually and like just imagine a but very professional setting and somebody does that. What are you doing, bro? And you're hot, gang. Like you're running numbers. You're hot, and you just see Felipe just mm. <laughs> carrying two ass like. That carrot too has yawn. He's walking with a candlestick and then the little the pajama hat. It's like, it's like, it's like uh, hey, he's not even walking. He's dragging his feet. Oh, he's dragging the feet. That was literally Felipe. Felipe that day. If you guys ever see us commenting like, yo, is that a power move? Yeah. That's where we got that from. That's a power was, move. That's was, the biggest power that move. That was the biggest power move you can ever do in a meeting. If you ever want to call the shots at a meeting, bro, I, I like you don't care. And yeah, I get up, lay down on the nearest uh, couch that you can find, bro. I, I guarantee. think that was, like a, that was like a basic, like, just huge fuck you to everybody, man. That Felipe was... just, fuck you guys, man. I don't give a fuck <laughs> this shit goes or not. Oh, you know you know what Diego looked like? Uh, Diego gave Felipe the face. Well, you know when you're misbehaving in front of your mom oh, and there's uh... people around and your mom just looks at you like. Yeah, 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 like yeah. That? yeah. Like that's what, that's what Diego did. He went like this to fucking Felipe. Felipe was like, all right. Got his ass up. <laughs> yeah. I should have just got his by the ear, huh? Yeah, dude, that Bring shit was back fucking fucking trauma funny. from childhood. Nah, that was funny, bro. My bad. That was seriously funny. That was, bro. I, I had a this was an amazing podcast. I had an amazing time with y'all, and I'm telling you, um, it's just dope that we can, like I mentioned, it sit down, express, yeah, just be ourselves. Bro, literally, sorry, literally, just be ourselves, guys. Like I'm telling you, like this is what we needed. This platform to exp just be us. Yeah, Get this is like. Have you got, cause real, real shit, like people have, when they see us in the vlogs, they have, they, they, they see what, what it's being shown, mm -hmm. but never who like we really are. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. amazing. And just to be able to share this new, uh, this new journey with you guys is it's fucking awesome. It's I love, I love y'all for real. Nah, like, I love y'all too, bro. Real shit. Nah, for real. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to be honest. I'm not closing it. I'm just giving my little 10 seconds. Of a goodbye, but thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. And for real, I really appreciate you guys staying the whole way through or just even watching it for a little bit. Um, you know, maybe you be clapping, you need some background noise, just put this up on the TV. So, you know, whoever's home thinks you're just watching a vid. But <laughs> thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And sh if we get canceled after this part, it was a good run. <laughs> At least we went and, out with a bang, uh, man. Follow me on Instagram, Filipito96, in case you need a any construction work. You get me? I'm I'm more than, more than, like, if we get canceled, just hit me up. You feel me? Like, it'd be pretty dope to go back and just, just fucking work at your house. That'd be dope. And, and we should do that. We should just pull up uh, one day and work at someone's house. I'd be down, man. Sick. That and, would be and hard, And to be bro. honest, to be honest, A guys, supporter's house? That would be sick. Like, uh, what do you need? Oh, I just need, I just need my, uh, I just need a new outlet or I just need new roofing. Nah, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with Felipe. Make sure it's, it's just you at your crib, man. Cause huh? What? No, because listen. What? Make sure it's just you, or nah, it's because, not just you. No, it's just it's just you. Don't be bringing your Theo, your parents around Felipe. Oh, man. oh or yeah, your, that's a different story. If your girl's story. there, we nah, went nah, not your girl. We went nah, 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 nah. We went over somebody's crib. Like, where's Sky? No, <laughs> the plumber's here. What are you saying, <laughs> man? Y'all, hey, somebody find that clip. We went to we went to my boy's house. He was he said he was the plumber and he was looking for for somebody. Nah. <laughs> Nah, I don't no. know if I could, nah, I don't know what you say. No, real, real, oh, you're going to say it? No, I'm done. Okay, my fault. 
So real shit, before we close out, because I'm going to let you close out, CEO. Thank you guys so much for every... <laughs> what? Bro, no? I don't have to close what? out. I'm not... I don't... Why do y'all Come call on, me that shit? Man. Yo, but for real, thank you guys so much for watching yesterday's episode. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Thursday's episode. Um, you guys have been very supportive throughout the whole time. You guys have been very positive to us. You guys have <clears> been amazing. We like we said before, we cannot ask for a better support team or a better family like the one that we have. Even though this family is a little toxic, Los mm. toxicos, but toxicos. it's an amazing family. I love. Wouldn't trade it for the world. I love every single one of you guys and a big kiss on the forehead for every single one of you guys. Un besito negrito. En la cabeza? En la cabecita, sí, man. All right, guys. Well, hey, we'll see you guys next Monday. Like I said, every single Monday, 11 a.m., we're going to be dropping a new podcast. On Maniaco Monday. Maniaco Rocks. Monday podcast. Los Toxicos um, Intoxicados podcast. This was fun. And like I, like Brandom said, this is just a safe place to be us, talk, talk our shit, and... Whoever can relate or join, laugh, be with your toxico, toxica, catch a vibe. Welcome to the family. Don't forget, don't forget, I'm so sorry. Don't forget to throw that out there. Any comments, any requests, you guys want to be up here, please reach out to Chicos Toxicos. Reach out to Los Chicos Toxicos at gmail.com for whatever you guys need. Mm -hmm. And we were just warming you guys up. This is just, this is just the beginning, You're just guys. This is, just no, this is, this is getting serious, guys. Like, just wait for next week's episode. Uh, this is just the beginning episode, you get me? This is like, you know, must have metí la puntita? All right, bro. <laughs> bro, hey, no, 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 no. We're not in the vlogs. Don't all right me, bro. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. No, no, you're don't right. all right me, bro. You're right, you're right. You know, must have te metí la puntita y te dejé calientita. Oh! <laughs> I think we can, hey, that's the best way to end it off. Yo, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share this podcast, clip it up, do what you want to do with this. Um... Amazing time. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next Monday. Peace. Peace. I love y'all. My fault.